Hey guys, James here today, and welcome to uh, like my overview video of a Lunar Island version 0.2. So when you download it, uh, it will come in this file. It will you will have to remove version one um, to be able to install this one because uh, the game recognizes them as the same world. So if you put this one into your launcher, it will say it's already installed, but obviously it isn't. Uh, so what you're gonna have to do is remove version one if you want to install version two, um, and You'll want if you have any lots in version one, export them, and then you can just place them place them in version two, um, or version zero point two rather. And uh, yeah, I, I I was trying to figure out a way to make the game think it was a different world, but I didn't know how to do that. So if any of you guys have tips on that in the future, then that would be good. Um, but anyway, for now you're gonna have to remove version one and put in version two. Uh, and we're gonna go over the changes now. So one of the first changes is obviously the new little picture there. It does say version zero point two there, but unfortunately it was covered up by that little picture there. But anyways, let's jump into it, and I'll sort of show you some of the changes that have been made. And uh, yeah, so that the, some of them you won't really be able to see, but I'll talk about anyways. So we we'll jump into the world um, right away. If you're diligent, you would have noticed uh, one fairly major change, and that is I've changed all of the roads. I've changed all the roads to a more islandy looking texture. Actually, well, well, oh, god damn, didn't mean to click that. <laughs> Went to do move in house. Uh, well, while that loads, uh, yes, I've changed them to more islandy sort of textured road, uh, just because I thought a whole tarmac, uh, fully painted double line awesome. road. Hey, that's my self sim. Look at that. That was actually made by Arabella. Uh, Arabella sims like months ago. Anyways, let's get out of that. Um, and that's my avatar in the exchange as well. Okay, I digress. But um, anyway, let's go edit town real quick. This, by the way, some people were saying, oh, they don't know how to move sims in because they were saying there's no lots. But you got to go to edit town, then you click on change active household, then you click on move in household, and then select, and then it will show up all the blank lots. It's, it's a really weird process, but that's how you do it. Uh, so we'll just move her in. Our stock standard sim for testing. I believe her name is Testa Te Tesla? Testing Tesla? I don't know. Some stupid name that I gave her. Uh, let's see what it is. Alrighty, so many things happen when you first start. Uh, Tesla Tester. Yes. Uh, Alright, so let's jump in. So yeah, here's the road. It's actually one from Island Paradise. Of course, it doesn't require Island Paradise. They're simply just texture files, so it's still only base game. Don't worry about that. I just thought this was a much more fitting road for this island. Um, and it just, it seemed much nicer and much more subtle than using the uh, the other road. Uh, I haven't changed these pathways. I didn't really feel it necessary to change the pathways, but I might change them in a, a future release. But for now, I thought that's all right. Um, <clears throat> moving on to another change, which you might have seen, is here. I've changed all this wall along here. Now, before, it did have these sort of walls going all the way through. But because those walls are actually world-related objects, when you demolished this lot to place a new park on it, it actually sort of messed up the walls and it didn't work quite right. So I thought it's better to just get rid of them and place my own wall in there and it should be fine. So that's what I've done uh, to sort of rectify that. Um, now, a fairly minor problem. Someone actually did a fantastic post that listed about... Uh, 12 or so just like bugs they found with the world and that was super helpful if you guys find bugs uh, Go to the download page and please just list them there Just do like number one this number two this and they had screenshots with every single every single one as well And that was amazingly helpful So I went through all of those and fixed as many as I could uh, one of them was just that this lot didn't line up with the ground So I fixed it up now. So it actually connects to the ground no problems uh, And then over here as well on this lot here if it loads up the sims they like to walk through this area before so rather than moving the pathway because I wanted the pathway still here so it like joined up nicely I just put a bunch of rocks there instead so that the sims will sort of go around the rocks and actually walk down where they're supposed to uh, and then I also just did a bit of terrain painting here so you can walk out of the plaza to the beach which I thought was quite nice uh, another thing you might have noticed is there are now flowers all around the world, pink and yellow flowers, uh, daisies and azaleas, azaleas if you if you want to say, all around the world. So that just the yellow and the pink ones are all around the world, dotted around. So it's just a bit more floral, a bit more lush, and a bit more lively as well, um, to sort of give the world a bit more vibrance. Also added trees on this little rocky area here. I don't know, I thought it looked a little bit nicer than just having a random rock pile. Uh, so chucked in some trees. Oopsie daisy. I also added a fish spawner, or a couple fish spawners in this lake here. So yeah, you can actually fish in this lake and catch some goodies. Um, what else have I done? Uh, lot tearing. Uh, big changes on that front. It's much less noticeable now. Um, so if we go back further, because the problem was when you were zoomed out. Never when you were zoomed in was there a problem with lot tearing. 
Uh, but you'll notice now there's no, you don't see any blue anywhere. There's no big blue tears. Uh, over here was one of the most offending areas along these lots. Uh, you'll see if you look closely, oh, well, just loaded. Uh, if I get a little further away, uh, you can see a little bit of a, I wonder if I can zoom into it or is it, no, it loads it. Um, there is a bit of a dark green line when you zoom out where the blue used to be. So I've, it's like there, you can see it actually. Uh, it's kind of dark green. It still has the same tearing issue. I honestly don't think there's a great way to fix that. I mean, there's no tearing up close, like I've said before. So there's re there's no issues with a lot up close, just when you're zoomed out. And I honestly don't think it's that bad. You can see it there, but uh, that green is much less offending than the, the bright blue. So I think that's a much better solution. So it's a nice improvement and a nice little fix uh, to that. Uh, and there was also one of these, I think it was maybe this lot around here or one of the lots was or maybe a couple were overlapping the roads a bit so i've sort of adjusted all that i mean because i had to replace every single road anyways so i kind of played around with it uh, and made them sort of work a little bit better i also there was some routing issues with the world like uh your sims couldn't walk anywhere over here at all but now they can so they can oh well, not there because that's too steep but anywhere where it looks like your sims can go they can walk there now without a problem uh, so that should be fine. I believe, yeah, I think, I think this was all off limits before, but I've, I've kind of fixed up all the routing, so it's a little little bit better. I wonder if they can go over here. Oh, they can. Look at that. Cool. <laughs> I can't even remember. Uh, what else have I done? Uh, so I did all the flowers. Probably should have whipped up the change log I wrote when I was doing this. Uh, I did. I added another lot, actually. There are now 60 lots in the world. Uh, it, the new lot is just here. Uh, it's a nice cliff lot. You can see the edge of it there, actually. If we... Hang on. If we go edit town... Just continue. We'll jump onto the lot. We'll just have a look at it. So this is the new lot, lot number 60. I mean, I would have numbered it differently, but um, otherwise I have to renumber every single lot. This is the new lot. I just, I thought it was a really nice area to put a lot, actually. It's a really nice little cliff here. I would have extended it further, but we've obviously got this lot here um, that sits just there. Uh, no other lot has been changed or moved, so no previous lots that have been submitted uh, should have any problems with this update. So everything should work just fine. And uh, it should all go quite smoothly. Yeah, so there's lot number 60 now. There's 60 lots, a much nicer number, if I do say so myself. Um, and, oh, yeah, I made a few changes to a couple of lots. Actually, hang on, let's just return to game real quick so I'm getting a little bit closer. I, oh, yeah, I also did a sort of terrain painting around this criminal hideout. Because before there was sort of dirt leading to the edge of the lot, then nothing there. Uh, which is my bad. I, I shouldn't, I, I, I never fixed it up. Um, but now I've sort of terrain painted it, and I think I did a few more bushes around it, maybe. I'm not sure if I did that. Um, and I think I made a change somewhere else to one of the lots. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, but those, I think those are the main changes. Uh, let me just double check that real quick. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm just checking over the change log. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's, that's like every, that's everything that's changed in version 0.2. Uh, which I think it, it fixes some of the main issues, like the lot tearing. I think that's a really good step forward. That's kind of resolved. And the roads are much nicer now as well, I think is really cool. And we have 60 lots instead of 59, which is, again, really good. Uh, but yes, uh, you just go to the same download page as before. Download the world. Just click the same download button. It will give you a Lunar Island v 02sims 3 pack. Uh, make sure you uninstall version 0 0.1 first um, and then install this one. Uh, it will make, just keep keep in mind, it will delete your saved game uh, when you want to install a world. So if there's anything from the saved game from the world you already have that you want to keep, just export the lot, export the families, anything you need, export it, and then just replace it in the world again. Uh, because that's just the way it works. Uh, keep in mind that you were all forewarned that there would be version updates uh, coming down the line. So I hope that's not too big of an issue for any of you guys. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this new version of the world. Uh, I will probably start building lots for it soon because I'm pretty set that the world is more or less probably in its final sort of like in terms of lots, final state. I might add a couple more lots. I think there's a few more places I could probably fit lots in. Uh, if I just go edit town, I'm thinking of maybe putting a lot around here somewhere. Seems like it could fit one and probably here. Uh, as well, just, just kind of mainly water lots, uh, but that'd be down the line. I didn't, I didn't feel like it was necessary to do that just yet. Um, I don't think the, and maybe around there actually seems like an all right place for a lot. A lighthouse lot would be cool. I don't know. There's a few different things to do, but I think in terms of uh, the main bugs and issues with the world were, I, I think I've addressed most of them, but keep testing the world, keep reporting any issues you have. 
Uh, post them on the download page. That is the best place to post it. Do not post it on this video. Post it on the download page. If you can provide screenshots with it as well, that would be fantastic because that helps so much more than words and explanations can do. Uh, but yes, let me know how it goes uh, and download it. Have fun. Submit your lots on the website. That would be awesome. I'd love seeing lots. There's almost, actually, I think there's over 600 lots now, <laughs> which is incredibly insane. 600 lots. Wow. Um, yeah. That's a lot of lots. Uh, but yes, thank you for watching this sort of update video on Luna Island. Uh, I will see you next time. Have a great day and enjoy the world. <laughs>